tree wrap. So your grandparents, they painted the trunks of trees white. Why'd they do that? Well, that was to reflect sunlight of young trees, especially when they don't have their bark isn't very thick. And so they get sun scalded or sunburned, especially on the south side, it would crack up and down. So they painted the tree white to reflect the summer, this early spring sun. So this trunk could warm up. Oh, okay, paint's good. And they were probably using toxic lead-based paint when they did that. They got a lot safer stuff out now. So this is called tree wrap. And so I've got this. So you've got a wrap like this. It's like a bandage. So you just wrap this. You start at the bottom. You wrap the tree up. And it does the same thing. It keeps insects off. It really keeps the sun from burning. Just adding an extra layer of bark onto your trees. And that's what tree wrap is. What I do mostly with this, if you've got porcupine damage or things have scarred, deer have come in and, and they've pulled off the bark, you'll need to repair that. It's truly like a bandage. And so I'll, I'll help customers put tree paint. There's a bark, there's a black, uh, like tar-like substance. We'll clean up that wound where the porcupine have been peeling off the bark, the deer have been rubbing their antlers. We'll put that black tar on there and then we'll wrap this around the tree. We literally have triaged your, your, that tree so it can form another layer of bark. That's how you're using tree wrap on plants. Really, it's a preventative uh, for sun scald and then it helps to uh, bandage a wound on a trunk. You don't have to do the whole tree, mainly from the base up to where the main crotches are. That's usually far enough. Okay, tree wrap, that's how you use it here from Waters Garden Center.